All right, y'all, I'm pumped up today because we're getting ready to start a super cool project. Our buddy Alberto Rosa, better known as Alberto Big Boost, to his quarter of a million YouTube subscribers, is bringing his drift car to us to get a wrap on it. Now, not only does Alberto drive this car at drift competitions, but he also builds these cars from the ground up, and he documents his builds on his YouTube channel. So, this week, while we're filming our show, he and his co-producer, Sharon, are going to be filming an episode for their YouTube channel. It's going to be an amazing collaboration. Alright guys, interesting thing. We are at Media One Wraps. I came to bring the car to get wrapped finally, so it's not gonna be this ugly white and black car anymore. But I started the vlog a little late because I had a bit of an accident with my camera. I left it on top of the car, I drove away, and it was in the middle of the street in pieces. Good thing I have the backup G7X, so that actually works out. So let's get this vlog going. I'm super excited because now this car is finally gonna get some cool color, and it's not gonna be this little ugly black and white car anymore that it looks like uh, Mr. Skunk back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they used to call the car Skunk when it was like this color. It's funny. Are you excited about today? I'm very excited. Very cool. I see you got uh, Guess Who with you. Yeah. Little cute little puppy dog <laughs> looking like a little teddy bear, but apparently he's a pit bull inside, so I'm not allowed to touch him. Yeah. You got a little attitude, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, let's go check this car out and see what we're going to do with it. Oh, my goodness. Huh? Hello, Mr. What's going Dale. on, man? How you doing? All right. Finally good to see brought you. Good this to see thing. You. Yeah. Freshly huh? washed. Look, fresh and the rims clean are clean. Wheels. I love no it. more dirty wheels. Yeah, it's great. It's you first can time see I've the seen color that color. Now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's great. All right, so tell me a little bit about this car, man. Well, it's a full wide body drifting E36. Okay. It's a really high horsepower car. It's 2JC power, so it's an engine and a Toyota Supra. What kind Full's of horsepower are you talking about? I just made 808 wheel horsepower oh dyno. Oh, goodness. Like, Two what? days ago. That's yeah, this crazy, thing is crazy. Huh? It's way more power than I wanted. Uh, it's a little more than you wanted? It's I wanted about 650. Oh really, huh? But the engine was built so good, it actually keep making more power. If we should to 850, I said, like, no, no, that's that's good enough. That's uh -huh. insane. We we'll stopped there. It's insane. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. All right, so obviously the engine, the motor, all that kind of good stuff is all tight and uh, yes. doing really good. You need some help on this body though, huh? The motor's completely done. It's the most beautiful part of the car. It's finished as well as the wheels, but the exterior of the car is what needs help. I sure. try doing the body work, so it's a full race car. If it, we're drifting, it gets beaten up. We'll hit walls, we'll hit cones. Oh, really? We'll okay. hit other cars. Get some damage. So it takes a lot of damage. Hey, There's hey, can debris. we wrap this thing in Kevlar? Is there a Kevlar wrap? We, we get well, this thing well, all Will that help me man? reduce to the amount of body <laughs> work? I need like, be like yeah, yeah. armor to the car? Yes. That, that would be pretty handy. That's what you need, huh? Yeah, yeah so this thing gets beat up not all the time, but every once in a while, Every right? once in a while, Sure, yes. sure. So this is going to have to be something that we might have to change out every once in a while, replace a panel here exactly. and there. Exactly. That's why I like vehicle wrap, because if you damage a section, you can just replace a section, rewrap yeah. it, and it's done and match the rest of the car. You got a color in mind? Yes, Design? I do. I actually brought a roll of the vinyl I want to use. Oh, oh look at that. that. This is a 3M1080 series gloss plum explosion. Nice. A beautiful vinyl. How do you think oh, that's yeah. going to look that's with the green wheels? Oh, I love it, man. Oh, look my at goodness. That. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be very that's striking. Awesome. And I can kind of see us pulling some of this green into the graphics or anything, too, you know? Yeah. I mean, kind of uh, highlight it. To, yes. A little bit. Yeah, nice. And uh, yeah, you know, just a couple little areas, you know, like where we have some, you know, little, little 
paint chips and whatnot. Maybe we sand those down a little bit, make them nice and smooth. I mean, the wrap will cover it, but you might, if you get up close, you'll be able mm -hmm. to see the little, little spots. We, we've got these panels that are pop riveted on here. So do you think there's any issue with that? They're pretty flat, huh? So that might be nice to just kind of go around it and make sure everything's looking good. What do we want um, to do about the, um the, body the missing body molding. It, it, it's yeah. in the back. You brought it, right? Have the moldings okay. there. The thing is, uh, there's a little thing about body that. molding must have popped off when he hit they, one of those cars. <laughs> but there's little clips don't necessarily like staying in. So right. what I ended up having to do was uh, basically I have to like glue the clips to the molding so for it to stay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We and can wrap them separately. And that's give that's, back a, to that's the yeah. best yeah. idea, yeah. I think. So uh, we we can test it out of the truck. Like that's the, the where these things fall off. It might hit something. It might fly off with the wind cutting sideways. Oh yeah, I can, good, I can good even test take for you guys that. on a ride. 3M, 3M product 3M testing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Will it. you be willing to go on a ride if, on this what? thing? In a ride? Oh lord! <laughs> How many horse do you say it was? Sure. This is 800 horsepower. And what did he say about hitting other car and walls and stuff? I don't this know. is not about <laughs> acceleration. It's about going sideways. So it's not, it throws you off completely. It's a whole yeah. different driving experience. So have you ever driven? I have never. <laughs> I took her drifting, she was like screaming the whole time. Where are you? Oh, oh look! He's <laughs> a liar! That's good, that's good. So how fast do you go sideways? Well, the fastest I go sideways has to be about like maybe 85 miles per 85. hour. 85? That's on the oval racetrack. On the skate pad that we use, we normally do about like 30, 50 miles yeah, per yeah. hour. Okay. But like going 80 or 90 miles per hour, you get all the wind coming in through the side, so it's like this really weird thing. It's like driving without a windshield at 90 miles per hour. It's like because you're going sideways. And you're going sideways. That's crazy. I never even thought about it's that. It's a truly unique experience. I mean, would you mind telling us what kind of budget you got? I mean, how much does something like this run? Well, this car probably has around close to fifty thousand dollars in upgrades into it. Um, I build drift cars that have about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars into them. Some what? cars go upwards to like three hundred thousand. When you get into exotic materials too, like you can do a full carbon fiber exterior, carbon Kevlar, yep, use titanium yep. to have harder and lighter parts. There's oh a lot of engineering God. that goes into this car. It's not just a simple car that goes around the sure. truck. There's, everything has to be specifically engineered to perform during this condition. How long do the tires last? <laughs> Funny question. <laughs> Funny question. <laughs> Depends on the truck and yeah. the setup. We, change their rear um, differential gear ratio depending on the track if you set up too much wheel speed you can burn a brand new set of tires in one lap one lap ideally we need them to last two laps in battle so you do a lead run and a follow run so we need to lower the car slow the car a little bit to for the tires to last two laps so you want to use all of it right. now in regular drifting for fun we might get maybe six to eight laps but that's it. That's so it's one day. Yep. Not even. Wow. So talking All about budget goes yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. So gosh. your entire budget normally is about over four thousand dollars per competition or more. I, that's I for can't even. Sponsors can't. is a must. There's got to be a lot of money into the motor as well. Yeah. Oh, oh my no. goodness. This is a power uh, plant on my two. Uh, look at my BMW. It's a uh, two JZ. It's normally a non-turbo two JZ out of a. Um, Lexus IS300, but I converted it to turbo and it's making 808 wheel horsepower I, I right now. Can't you can't touch a dog, you can't touch wow. a car. <laughs> May cause serious yeah, health this, issues. Yeah, this is a great sticker for cars, so you know yeah. everybody wants to like right. go everybody touch wants around. To grab it. You can see there's everything here is custom made, so there's a lot of engineering and design mm -hmm. hours into this and labor extensive And this is hours. what you do. Yes, this is, this I, is your I thing. build this, I document the whole thing, I Gosh. show people how to do these things. It's it's a lot of work, but I love doing this. Do you put nitrous in there? Just you can come? put nitrous. Yeah. We do put nitrous in some of the vehicles. This one does not have nitrous. On drifting, for the most part, we use nitrous at lower RPM instead of a power adder on top. Oh, I got gotcha. you. So we want to bring the torque curve sooner. Right. So you can have better response. Some people use it all the way, right. but it's not needed. Like you have 800 horsepower, that's more than enough. Right, right. So if I were to put nitrous on this, I'll put it like around 3000 RPM to get that torque Gets curve the torque all the way up. up and then yeah. once the turbo spool it takes over. What is the difference between a drift car like this and a, a drag racer? Well, drift car is uh, engineered to go sideways, full in control. Drag racing car is pretty much going a straight line. 
On this car, you want to get a lot of sideways grip. You want the car to turn a lot and you want a lot of mid-range power. So On a drag racing end. car, you want a lot of top-end power and a lot of grip. Cool. On this car, we're burning the tires, breaking them loose. On drag racing, you want to make sure the tires hook. Right. So it's a lot of difference between the two cars. You can make this into a drag car, but it's gonna need a lot of changes. Really, huh? Yeah. Huh. The difference on the suspension as well? I mean, I assume it would be. The suspension design on this car is meant for like a lot of squats. So it has a lot of travel, almost like an off-road suspension. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then also the steering angle is over 70 degrees of steering. So you can like turn the car almost completely sideways. Uh -huh. It's very handy when you're gonna park. Like yeah. You're gonna park anywhere, you can make a U-turn right here. For real, huh? It's really cool. Well, I'm really super excited about making the outside of this car look as good as that interior, that motor does, right? Now, have you guys worked on the design at all? No, uh, so oh, yeah. in addition to turning it the, the plum purple, what kind of, what else do you need on it? Do you need a race number or stripes? Well, so I, I yeah. really want to put a couple of my sponsors okay. on the car. I do know if you put just the sponsor stickers, it's kind of like a little too plain. So maybe right. I, I want to add a little design, like basic stripe here and there. Sure. So like kind of contour the design. Sure, you know? we'll come up with something. I'll show it to you. Okay, yeah. Yeah. sounds good. What are you doing, Sharon? So, is that like so I'm recording the guys, you know, oh, behind the scenes. I mean, yes, you know, this is for our Berto Big Booth channel. So you guys oh, yeah. know what we're doing. This is reality. So this is all uh, fire retardant in here, correct? Like heat management is a really important thing here. So the turbo heat actually is so great. It, it can heat up the coilover. It heats up the hood. So you see I have this up on the hood. Um, I also have this fiberglass blanket here. Mm -hmm. There's ceramic coating in there. All measures yeah, of like heat yeah. control and management have been applied to this. You can even see I have the fire sleeves too on all the hoses so they don't burn. Wow. Uh, a lot of the time those hoses will get so hot that you get bread on your snap. And you can see I, I have a little uh, small burnt piece right here. This was actually from the car getting dyno. You have to dyno oh. the car with the hood open. So this big old flame just like burns this spot right here. So uh, heat resistant, not flame resistant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. That's awesome. So what's really cool about this and we're so excited about it is because they look at these guys, they're here filming for their YouTube channel, Alberto Big Boost. And the coolest thing is, is they got 240,000 subscribers. You notice that this is big time stuff and we're really excited about the collaboration with them. So we're filming an episode, they're filming their episodes. We're doing everything behind the scenes. You guys are getting to see it in real time. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome, man. We're so excited about this. It's I'm excited. Mm -hmm. This looks ugly. Uh, I know. I want it to look beautiful. Like this? I'm all about colors. Yeah. How long has it been like this? Uh, maybe a couple of months, like that's four it. months. Not too bad. Yeah, not too okay. bad. December. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're going to turn this thing up. Yeah, and see, the crazy thing about this is, too, is this is not a, a standard vehicle for us. You know, typically there's a smooth body panel, you know, we're going around door handles or, you know, tail lights or something like that. But with this, they've got these wide body fiberglass panels on here that are pop riveted on. You know, so there's these big bumps where they meet the next panel and they're pop riveted on. And obviously it's a great thing for the race because it's, it's lightweight and it's fast to change on and off, you know, if they ever crash into anything, like he said, happens every once in a while. But it does create a challenge for us because it's a lot of surface areas that we got to make sure that this vinyl is installed exactly perfect or else we're gonna have problems down the line with adhesion, you know, and all these different little nooks and crannies. So uh, it's gonna be fun, but it's gonna be a challenge as well, uh, dealing with all these different little components of the car. Now, how many times a year do you race it? It depends on the events. Like last year was terrible, of course, but yeah. I already have an event coming up on the 19th that I wanna take the car to. On oh, the 19th? Yeah. That's the date. We could definitely get it done, man. And we will be excited. celebrating Alberto's birthday that day. That, oh, it's his yeah. birthday, right? Yeah, yeah nice. it just so happens to land on my birthday, too. Like, <laughs> How about that? How cool is that celebrating the birthday on the racetrack? That's awesome. With a, yeah. with a fresh car. And what you do. Yeah, is that? Well, I love it, man. Let's get that thing done, man. I'm excited. Awesome, man. I am yep, super yep. excited. You know, I'll be honest with you. When I came here for the first time, I didn't know you guys did one-off on vinyl wraps. I thought you only did fleets because it's 
pretty impressive shop. <laughs> Thank so you it's really appreciate. good to know that you guys do individual cars as well. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, you know, in the fleet stuff, we love that stuff. But, you know, I started this company when I was 16 years old in my mom's garage wow. out in Oviedo when I was a little kid painting and airbrushing. And I've kind of maintained, you know, I grew up in my dad's body shop and I kind of uh -huh. maintained that custom, you know, that we like doing the individual cars that are custom. It's so much more fun than doing an air conditioning company. Right, but you guys are going to have fun with this. I didn't get a fleet of these cars. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what we're doing this for, man. We'll get our name out there. And, and, yeah, you might actually get a fleet industry, of cars. Right? When people see this car coming alive from what it looks yeah. like, now you're definitely going to get a bunch of these cars out okay. there. All right, guys. Well, that's about it. Here, we're going to get this thing started here, and we're going to take you along with us and watch how we're going to transform this car into making it as beautiful as that motor is. Yeah, this is going to be badass. Love it.